What's up, Duelists? MD here, and today, this video is going to be a little late, but something very important came out. We finally have our ban list for August 29th onward. Now, by August 29th, I mean that is the day this ban list will be in effect. But as you can see, we have just gotten it today on the 24th. So, I just wanted to go over the list with you guys, and in case you guys have never seen this before, just show you what the ban list is like. So, right here, this is where all the forbidden stuff is at. Now, from the last ban list, nothing much has really changed, except one card did get added to the list, which is Perform Pal Monkey Board, which is quite unfortunate because it, it shows right here that it was limited, which I figured limited was enough. But, man, it's like they're, they're really trying to put down the Perform Pal and even Odd Eyes stuff, which I don't know why, but this is Konami. So, yeah, that's the only new thing. You guys can pause the video for a second if you'd like just to look at over this stuff if you've never seen it before. But it's all basically the same stuff as far as regular monsters go. And Fusion Monsters, Elsa Jock Construct hasn't changed. Bronia, Dragon of Ice Bear hasn't changed. All of the XC's monsters have not changed. And we're going to go into the spells now. Everything else here is the same except now we have Kaiser Coliseum that was just on added to the ban list. So... That's definitely a new update there. And as far as traps are concerned, nothing at all has changed from that. Again, if you would like to take a second to pause, if you've never seen this before, just to check out what this list is like and what is on it, feel free to do so. And now we're going to be going to what is limited. Now, limited means you can only have one copy of this card in the deck. And forbidden obviously means you can't have any of that card in your deck. So, as usual, all the pieces of Exodia are limited to one, and same with Cleefort Scout. Now, there's actually a few new things here. We got Seer Malik Branch of Burning Abyss, which was semi-limited, but now limited. And we also have Aether Heavenly Monarch, which I knew was going to get hit. I knew all the Monarchs was going to get hit. Well, not all of it, but yeah, the whole Monarch thing in general, everyone knew it was going to get hit. <clears throat> and that's limited down to one. And another new thing, Cosmo Dark Destroy. Now, I'm actually surprised this hasn't happened sooner. But, yes, it is now limited. And Magic Spectre Unicorn Kieran is limited, which that I actually was not expecting. But I can see why, because of how good it is and how splashable the card is. And how Magic Spectre is in general are splashable in a lot of Pendulum decks. So, I can see why they would limit Kieran. But, everything else here, as far as the effect monsters, are the same. Now, as far as rituals, fusions, and synchros, same thing with... Ooh, wait a minute. I'm just now noticing this. Beatrice. This is the um, Burning Abyss card. So, the XCs that will you go over with Dante. But Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal, is now limited. I can't say I'm all that shocked, but that did not take very long. But, oh well, Beatrice was really a good card. So, honestly, it being a one... I don't see it making too much of a difference in that aspect, but I could be wrong. This being limited could also hurt as well. So a lot of the stuff that was done with like Burning Abyss, Cosmos, stuff like that, especially Monarchs, those are getting hit big time. And if we go down here to the spell lineup, there's also a few new things here as well. Emergency Teleport got hit to limited when it was semi-limited before. And also Patheism got hit down to one which... I knew it. There was no way Pantheism wasn't going to get hit. That was way too good a card. And now Pendulum Call. Now, I'm not surprised that this card got banned because it is really good in the Eyes Magician deck. But I figured if they were going to do it, they would have done it a lot sooner. So, as an Eyes player, this is kind of unfortunate news. Along with Monkey Pal Among along with Perform Pal Monkey Board. Sorry about that. But, yeah. That was my only thing. Like, it really doesn't make much sense, in my opinion, to do it now when this really should have been done a long time ago. But, oh well, guys, it's Konami. What can you do? And we also have Monarch Stormforth here that got limited, which, obvious. And honestly, when it came to Patheism and Stormforth, I had half a mind thinking those were going to get banned altogether, especially Stormforth. But they're just limited, which still kind of hurts the deck. But that deck really needed to get hit. That deck was showing up way too much, winning way too many things. And finally, as far as traps go, nothing here here has changed. There's no new stuff in here at all. So, 
I, I'm gonna be saying this a lot, guys, because I know some of you might be new to this ban list mechanic, but if you want to take a second to pause the video, totally, totally fine. And now we're gonna go into semi-limited, which there's some new additions here. Maxi semi-limited, which honestly a lot of people are have I've noticed been complaining about that, but to be perfectly honest, a lot of decks I see play Maxi only play two to begin with, so I don't really. S Hopefully that lowers the price of Maxi a bit because all there's like no such thing as a cheap version. There's a lot of reprints and a lot of versions, but it's still kind of a pricey card. So hopefully it just lowers it down a bit. And honestly, I don't see running two Maxi in a deck that much of a problem. But that's just me. And we also have Thunder King Ryo semi limited, which was limited. So that's definitely nice to see Thunder King coming back at two. And same thing with Wind Up Magician coming back. So nice little addition as well. As far as spells go, nothing's changed. And as far as straps, nothing's been added. And right back down here are the cards that are no longer on the list, which is Thousand Eyes Restrict, which is pretty cool because last ban list that was limited. We have Allure of Darkness, which I'm super happy about because that's really gonna help out the upcoming Dark Magician deck. Well, I shouldn't say upcoming, but it's getting more and more support throughout the month, so that's why I say it like that. But yeah, really gonna help with the Dark Magician deck. So, very excited about this. And Gold Sarcophagus, no longer on the list when it was limited. So to me, that's really, really cool to see. So yeah, guys, that about does it for my video on the 2016, August 29th ban list. So, leave down any comments down below, any opinions you have on this, how you guys feel about it. I really wanna know how you guys feel about this. Especially if some of you this is the first time you're ever seeing a ban list, because I know a lot of you guys are just now trying to get into the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, yeah, definitely share with me any opinions or comments you have on the ban list. Definitely be interesting to see that. And, again, if you like the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. This, uh, this list will be taking place as of August 29th. So, you, still, you guys out there still have a few more days with the old format if you really wanted to play with that. Alright? This has been Magician's Descendant, and I will catch you duelists later.